Now let's go get drunk and it's like, so <laughs> Just real people, real combo. I'm Peter Bailey, and after my sit down with White Club, I headed to South Beach, America's most bodacious playground, to share a nightcap with good music superstar Big Sean. We discussed his ascent under Kanye's watchful eye, working with Eminem, being one of the mouthpieces of hip hop's new universal voice, and his desire to inspire that ever growing fan base. Sean, what's up? What's up? Back in Blair? Miami. How you doing, man? Back up in MIA. Man, I'm good working. I see. You know what I'm saying? Sean, every time we get together, mm -hmm. the career is just ascending and ascending. Yeah. Recently, it's buzzing and news and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You saw the photo of you in the studio with Eminem and Royce the Five Nine. It was crazy just, you know, coming from Detroit. Mm -hmm. You know, we sat and talked for a couple hours even before we did anything music. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I was telling them how much of a, how crazy it is, man, coming from the D. Them, yeah. them was the superstars, them was the heroes yeah. in rap music. You know what I'm saying? And they showed me that you could be worldwide because it was always like local heroes, but. Obviously, when the biggest rapper in the world was from Detroit, it was a, it was a big deal there. So you know, it was an honor, man. Straight up. Of your mom, you recently got a house for and whatnot. Yeah, man. How has that transition been like for your family? Well, that was one of the bucket lists. You know, that was on my bucket list. One of the things on there to get my mom a new house, and um, finally got her about the hood. You know, she deserved to be in a nice house, and she decorated how she wanted. She's a real. My mom is really into like health. Mm. So she like replaced the water system with like alkaline water and yeah. you know she redid the whole house and exactly how she wanted from windows to floors to mm -hmm. she spent more money remodeling than the house actually cost so she spent a lot on it and um it was just an honor to be up in there sitting with her you know there's no way I could you know pay her back for what she did for me yeah. so it was the least I could do man and mm. like I said that was one of the things I wanted to accomplish when we got it done. Mm. Sean, you know, earlier we were having a conversation actually, mm -hmm. me and some friends. Conversation we've had for a while about hip hop and the transition mm -hmm. culturally, where it began, mm -hmm. where it is now, where it's more, I guess, a more universal feel to it. Yeah. You exactly. know, and you being one of the faces of this new generation of hip hop, would you say it being, is it being watered down? Is it, because you know, it, the whole, the whole, Style the face of it had face of it has, has shifted somewhat, mm -hmm. where people from different races, different cultural backgrounds are more embracing of it. I think that hip hop, you know, it's something for everybody, man. It's mm -hmm. still like, well, I, it depends what you consider hardcore hip hop. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's still like lyricists, mm -hmm. still people keep a lyrical, great song concepts. I think if anything, they're just pushing the envelope. You know, merging um, different genres. It is what it is. It's becoming more worldwide. You know what I'm saying? And people like what they like. And the radio likes what they like. And, you know, people are going to gravitate to what they like. So, you know, if it's something that is different than it used to be, it's just because that's what people like, I feel like. You know? So you never have an issue with people who may say the new generation of artists or pop, per se, or more? I feel like pop means just popular, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, now I, I, feel, like I do feel them, I understand it, you know, yeah. there's no right or wrong, I think it's just all opinionated, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, do you like regular fries or curly fries, do you like yeah. Spanish girls or do you like Jamaican True. girls? It's definitely more universal than ever, and I feel like it's artists that bring that old school feel, mm -hmm. and it's just like, I think it's just expanding more, that's all. Interesting, because Jason Collins, the NBA player mm -hmm. that recently came out, a lot of people were like, wow, you know, it's very interesting to see how the generation is really warmed up there. I think it's tight, man. People need to be open. Yeah. You know, they got, they shouldn't be hiding who they are. Mm -hmm. So I think it's tight that we came, come around to, you know, where people can come out with whatever they got going on. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's whack to not be real with yourself and... You know, it's cool, man. That's that's a big deal, though. It is. <laughs> yeah, that's a big that deal. was a big step. How's the brand coming, the fashion line and whatnot? The oh, that's cool, matches. man. Or go. We just got it to a point where we, like, really are liking it. You know what I'm saying? Really, This jacket I got on is actually Oracle. And it's just, like, it's real plain, but, you know, subtle. 
something that I like really would wear on a day to day basis. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we wanted to make it. I was making so many of my clothes on the road. I remember. Yeah, that it was just like, why not do a line? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So we getting it together, finally getting it to a point where we like it. I learned a lot about making clothes and stuff, mm-hmm. and I'm no expert at all. You know, I'm a consumer more than anything. I'm not trying to do it. You know, I'm more, I like buying clothes and I'm into it. And the only reason I got into it is because the opportunity was there. And, um, you know, might as well take advantage of it, though. So it's coming along well. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the fall shipment is what's going to make, uh, start the impact of it, you know. How's the relationship with with Adidas? That relationship is still going strong. Yeah, Adidas, you know, we got, um, we released a shoe with Adidas, man, that sold out real fast. and everybody be you know the people who do got to be rocking their pair and they on ebay for like 1500 a pair so you know it's tight it's all tight to have that and have exclusive shoes and they're putting out um a new colorway in august um the detroit players are like all black and um what it's like black and charcoal gunmetal you know what i'm saying we used to we had the gold accents on the first one but I feel like that's kind of getting a little played as far as like all that. So we wanted to do gunmetal, right. you know, something cool, something on it, something new. So it's going to be yeah. fresh. And then we got more designs coming for next year. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a long relationship with Adidas, man. They're really in tune with just like the artists that they like. Mm-hmm. They're really in tune with the culture, man. Not just me, but, you know, they, you see them messing with like 2 Chains and Indeed. ASAP and a lot of just cool people, man. So. And the thing, speaking about endorsement deals, you know, it, it's the, the recent issue with Reebok and Ross. And, you know, I know Ross. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. And it's something I, I guess I'll play devil's advocate, per se. Mm-hmm. We have a culture of music, and we understand the body of work. Mm-hmm. Do you single out one set of lyrics and make it a cause? Or do you look at the whole body of the work? I mean, you being an artist with endorsement deal, are you gonna now look at what you sense your content and look at what you say now? Yeah, Definitely. and my new the content you know for this new album has really been a little more, way more mature, mm-hmm. and uh, people are gonna see as soon as we start putting the content out and the music. But um, yeah, you should. I don't think you necessarily should censor what you say if you feel like how you feel. Mm-hmm. You know, I I don't think he ever censors what he says. Mm-hmm. But, the, you know, he apologized for it. I don't think he meant it how it came across, you know. Mm-hmm. He said, she took it, whatever it was, you know, the I, the um, the issue was like it's a date rape line or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't think Rick Ross be like date raping women, <laughs> you know. But it is what it is, and it's just it's, it's messed up. It had to happen like that, but, you know. So consciously, that when you go into the booth now, from a creative standpoint, I mean, you as an artist, you've always yeah, had you just, a you just so just express yourself, and it's just like you just kind of have a sense of what's right or what's wrong, whether you think it's right or wrong. If you stand behind something and you like it, you know you shouldn't care about what anybody says. Yeah. You know, it's just as long as you with it, if you're rolling with it, you're rolling with it. So, but do you think as artists? You guys are the mouthpiece for the culture and the generation. Mm-hmm. How much responsibility is there for that? Man, I'm just realizing, like I said, one, one of the things, I've, I've gotten a little bit older, you know, I'm 25. Yeah, you're 25. Like, oh, man. <laughs> you so, like, one of the things I have realized is that it is more of a responsibility mm-hmm. than I used to look at it. You know, I used to just want to be on and have gold chains and, hmm. you know, and all that. But now I do see it as a little bit more of a responsibility, something to say, something to inspire. You know, I've been making, like, vlogs lately, mm-hmm. talking about the importance of, like, you know, just different things that make me who I am. That's been inspiring a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm into like being positive, into karma, into the law of attraction. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to like really educate people on that, and been making vlogs. You know, titled like imagination and how important that is, or fear, or like um, family. You know what I'm saying? Reality, different things, and they all gonna be on my album too, on the deluxe version of my album, along with newer episodes. But like. You know, I just see that that's way more important, and the music kind of has that connotation too. And even though I kind of always kept, even though I always had fun club songs, I always kept songs that were a little more meaningful too. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, obviously they weren't radio singles, so it's kind of hard for people who ain't listening that deep. All they hear is like, you know, all the stuff on the radio and think right. that perception. But the true fans, the people who be rapping and listening to the mixtapes, they know they heard songs like Memories. They heard songs like 24 Carats of Gold that had a little deeper connotation to it. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, the album has even way more of that. And we're going to highlight that more this time. And like I said, 
you know, as I've been progressing in my career, it is something important to think about, you know what I'm saying, to, you know. And finally, you know, I always dip into the love life side of things. Mm -hmm. New ladies, I know. How's yeah. that been going for you? Uh, everything's good. She's good, man. You know, it's, um, she's awesome. Mm -hmm. Does Kanye ever give you any relationship advice? Yep. I don't take it though. Say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what sort of advice no, no, gives no, you? No, I'm just playing. Nah, Kanye, he just gives me advice, period. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Just as a man, just like, mm -hmm. he's somebody, first of all, he's older. He's been through more stuff. Yeah. He's wiser. So I always listen to the OGs, you know, mm -hmm. from my grandma to my dad, my mm -hmm. mom. And even somebody who's, even though Kanye older than me, he's closer to me. So he's kind of more like an older brother. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So whatever he tell me, man, I listen. I, you know, I hear it. I'm always... I'm always one of the people who just listen to the OGs and see what they got to say. But, you know, man, one thing I learned is that you can make monsters out of women, man. And you got to be careful of that. You know what I'm mm. saying? Uh, I was sitting talking with my dad in the car and he was like, I remember a long time ago, my dad was like, never tell a woman, never, always lie. And then later on, he was like, I take that back. Don't lie. Just always keep it real. Because if you lie and get caught man um if you lie and get caught they'll never trust you again at least if you keep it real and be honest at least you can earn their trust so back speaking you know? from experience here sean no yeah definitely <laughs> speaking of experience and you know that's one of the things that i really um in my past relationships you know as i got older i was like y'all really want to just keep an honest man and like mm -hmm. you know if i'm not ready for certain things i'm not ready for certain things if i am i am so mm -hmm. You know, this new relationship is something new and fresh, and it's cool, man. Cool. She's awesome. She makes me feel good. Cool. Yeah. Sean, mm -hmm. it's always good talking to man, you, my you man. Me too, man. Be safe. I'm going to be back in Miami. You know we're going to kick it. Of course. All as right. always, bro. We'll be on tour probably this fall, man, so you got to come out to the shows. Indeed. You know, Indeed. new album, Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. It's going to be it's gonna be incredible. So we can expect man. something really good for that. Yeah, expect something, man. Definitely expect something that's going to have an impact, something mm -hmm. that has some meaning to it. You know, um... I don't even want to hype it up or nothing, but it's a really good album, man. Everybody yes. I played it for has really been surprised or really blown away, including, you know, big, big, you know. Eminem. People, yeah, people like that. He like the work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always good to see you mature, my man. You too, man. All right? Always, man. Just real people, real combo.